everyone, Erin here, and today we are making more free plants. What I have here is a tray of dahlia tubers that I have pre-sprouted specifically for the purpose of taking cuttings from. Uh, so this was really easy to do. I just pulled out two clumps of tubers that I had in storage, divided them, and laid them in a regular flat with no holes in the bottom of potting mix. Uh, sort of laid them in there flat so that there's a little bit of tuber showing and the neck in hope is hopefully exposed so that it's really easy to access these sprouts and uh, that way it's easy to take the cuttings from it. So if you need some guidance on how to divide dahlias, I've got at least one, probably a couple of videos on how I do that and I'll link those below. It's not difficult to do. Uh, you just have to sort of remember what not to cut off, which is the neck. You can handle that. Anyway, so I laid those in this tray, stuck this tray on bottom heat with a humidity dome, uh, kept it moist, not wet, but moist. And uh, this is about maybe two or three weeks that it took to get to this point. Now we can take these cuttings off these tubers, uh, pot them up and get some roots going on those. Okay, so the next step here is to start doing these cuttings. So to put the cuttings in, I just have a tray that I got some plants in in the past. These are like kind of big landscape plug. These are probably, I don't know, they're pretty big. And my hope is that these dahlias can grow in here for quite a long time. I might not even need to pot them up, but if I do, I'll probably go up to like a four inch pot later on. Regular potting mix in there, pre-moistened. Okay, so you can see here that we've got several sprouts of different sizes in here. These guys are actually probably a little big. We probably should have cut these sooner. Some of these other ones are more like the size I would have liked to see, but dahlias are extremely easy to grow from cuttings. So uh, this shouldn't be a problem in any regard. So there's two ways to take cuttings. Uh, the first is to use a really sharp knife or a scissor, something like that. I'm gonna use this, this tool that I have. I'll link this below. This is a Zenport scissors. Uh, this is what I divide my dahlias with these days too. It's really sharp um, and kind of fine, uh, fine pointed. So it's easy to um, get in there and cut things. So you wanna use something really fine because what you wanna do is get just the slightest little bit of tuber with it when you're taking a cutting. So I hope you can see in there. So I would go like here. You see it's just below where that stem is. Cut that off. And what you can see that we're left with here is just the tiniest little bit of tuber around that. Now what we're gonna do is take off these bottom leaves and And I'm actually gonna take off these little leaves, right? This is, this one I think got a little crispy. I left the humidity dome on a touch too long and some things got a little crispy. Okay. So now we have this whole step. Now you can use a rooting hormone for this if you like. I actually don't find that dahlias even need it and I forgot to bring it up. So I'm not even gonna bother with that. Then you just make a hole. I've got this mini Tiny little mini dibber that I got, which comes really in handy. And then you wanna put it in up to, right up to where those, the leaves that you've left on remain. And then you just kinda of gently work that in. Now the other way to do this is to just twist them off. So if you grab one of these by the base, which is gonna be really hard for you to see, and you just sort of start twisting a little bit. There. What you end up with is this, and you can see it almost ends up like hollow at the end there. And then you can use that. And then once again, I'm gonna take off these two leaves and then I'm gonna put it in the dirt up to this point in the soil. There we 
go. You see how you almost end up with this little hollow bit? So you're gonna get roots to form there and where you took off those leaves. So these tubers will put up more sprouts. So I could keep cutting on these again and I will let them do that because I'm not gonna bother planting these as tubers. Even though you probably could pot them up and put them in your garden, um, I'm actually just gonna keep using these as cutting stock and then call it a day with them. Now one thing it's fairly important to do with dahlias is uh, make sure you ha are practicing good dahlia hygiene. So if you were taking cuttings from like a bunch of different varieties or even a bunch of different tubers, um, you would wanna sterilize your tool in between because dahlias are kind of prone to a few diseases and it's kind of becoming a real problem it, with dahlias. So you wouldn't wanna pass those diseases along. Okay, so now I have all my cuttings all set up here. I will put this tray, um, put them in another tray so that I can bottom water them. I will put these, on a heat mat with the humidity dome over them to try to get those roots really growing. In about two weeks, we should have some root growth activity on these. And like I said, because I put these in these sort of long cells, I'm hoping they can live in here for a while. I may have to pot them up uh, at some point, but it's key to keep with cuttings. You have to keep that humidity in there because all they start doing when they don't have roots is losing all this moisture from their leaves. So you need to keep it as a humid environment for them to be able to uh, not get so stressed that they can't produce those roots. Okay, so that is more plants for free. Let me know if you're doing some dahlia cuttings this year. All right, have a great day in your garden. We'll see you soon.